I'm a Lauren's best friend from high school and maid of honor. And before I begin, I just want to thank the bride and groom, um, Mrs. Ridley, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan, for such a beautiful wedding weekend in Nantucket. So I've known Lauren over the last 15 years as we met in high school English class. Um, however, our relationship is not that of typical high school best friends. I'm lucky to say that we continue to grow closer after high school. And we were roommates in both Washington, D.C. after college, and more importantly, we studied abroad in Rome together uh, during college. But I'll get to that crucial part of our story a little bit later. Um, since we met, Lauren's always been like a sister to me. Being friends with her in high school was pretty sweet, literally. She worked in an ice cream shop, so we often hung out there, and I could sample the entire menu whenever I wanted, it was really fun. But the best part of being friends with her was her unwavering loyalty. She stuck with me no matter what. For example, our senior year, we went to a party, and I threw up all over the host house. <laughs> like, everywhere. <laughs> Every, everyone called me chunks for the rest of the year. <laughs> but Lauren stayed friends with me. <laughs> but I'll have you know that loyalty went both ways. I stayed, I stayed friends with Lauren even after I found out that she liked to eat raw hamburger meat and dog food as a snack. <laughs> That's a true story. As a child. child. <laughs> yep. Chunks and hamburger meat. We were really cool in high school. <laughs> so even though we went to different colleges, I loved visiting her at Penn State. Football games with 100,000 screaming college students. It was really different from my college experience where we left before the game even started. <laughs> Lauren and her friends were such a blast to hang out with and made me feel at home when I visited. Shout out to the crew at 432. Woo <laughs> <laughs> we, we slapped wine bags, we bar crawled with pictures of weird animals called fetogs on a stick. <laughs> and many other college shenanigans. <laughs> Some of us even traveled abroad together to Rome. And this is where Henry and Lauren's story officially began. As fate would have it, our neighbor in our Italian residence was none other than Mr. Henry Sullivan. When we first met Hank, he could be described in two simple words. Unfortunately, those words were friend zone. No! <laughs> So, Henry was a big brother type. He was a super nice guy that made us feel safe in a foreign country. He was basically the bodyguard of our group of six or seven girls who were constantly fending off Italian men. In fact, while in Italy, Lauren and I made a pact that if we were single in our old age, we would come back to Italy for the Italian men, since they gave us constant, usually unwarranted attention as we were walking down the street. Bella, bella, bella. All that time, Henry was there, but had to take a backseat to the Fabrizios and Luigi's of our college stay. As many know, the friend zone can be nearly impossible to get out of. Henry and Lauren hung out several times after our study abroad including the time Henry and his Hopkins friends came to visit, and one of them, who shall not be named, used a bath towel instead of toilet paper in our bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and, tried, and tried to destroy the evidence <laughs> by throwing said soiled bath towel out the window into a tree. <laughs> You know who you are, and what you did, and you're lucky to be on the guest list. <laughs> I'll leave you all to figure out who that might be. <laughs> I can tell you a million more stories about our escapades and how Henry fit into them, but unfortunately, I don't have the best memory. <laughs> Lauren, on the other hand, has a crazy good memory. You can always count on her to know exactly what you've eaten, 
or said on a certain day, or anything else completely random and forgettable. May 2005, you were wearing a blue romper and had a vodka soda. November 19, 2009, you were eating a grilled chicken wrap and said you were going to try to be a vegan. In fact, on the night, Lauren and Henry's friendship turned into something more. Three or four years after Rome, they were in Washington, D.C. And after their date, she sent me the most detailed email about the entire situation. Thank God for Gmail search, because I was able to find it. No, no. <laughs> Here's a little excerpt. <laughs> hey, Jenny. So Henry came to visit. Basically, it was like how we normally were as friends, but maybe a little more cuddly. like On our walk to dinner, he was super cute, like arm around me trying to keep me warm. Yeah. When we realized we were lost, he pulled me in really cute and kissed me. Oh. Our first kiss, by the way. Woo. We, we ended up at a bar drinking and talking. I had two glasses of Sauvignon Blanc, and he had two of Coronas. <laughs> and it went on from there with five more paragraphs of very vivid details. <laughs> so Henry finally had started to get out of the friend zone, but he wasn't just out of the woods yet. Their dating officially began a few years later when Lauren moved to Philly to go to law school. And the rest is finally history. Yeah. At the entrance up to the Philadelphia Museum, is a statue of Rocky Balboa, one of the greatest underdog stories ever told. But maybe there should be a statue of Henry Sullivan as well. <laughs> he overcame insurmountable odds to get out of the friend zone and win the love of his soulmate. Take that, Italian guys. <laughs> a true Italian style. <laughs> I say in jest about Henry's persistence, but more so I mean that Henry is truly an amazing friend to both Lauren and myself before their relationship turned romantic. These two are soulmates in the truest sense. Lauren has shared with me numerous times what a rock Henry is for her, and it's so easy to see how much they truly adore each other. Lauren, you're smart, caring, funny, beautiful, and driven and have always been the sister I've never had. You inspire those around you in so many ways. If you're half as good a wife as you are a friend, Henry is a very lucky man. Henry, you're hardworking, kind, intelligent, funny, and supportive in whatever Lauren wants to do, including eating cauliflower rice, carrot noodles, and gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free everything. You share a love of travel with her, cheer her on at marathons. You're exactly the person I'd imagine Lauren being with for the rest of her life. So needless to say, I'm so happy you two found each other, even if it took a few more years than expected. Please raise your glasses and help me toast the happy couple. I wish you nothing but years of happiness, joy, light, and love. Cheers. Cheers.